I would like to disinvite all those people that are running around with long guns with, for no apparent reason to stay home. Let me tell you, it's not anything normal. We shouldn't come to expect it. We shouldn't accept it. Because what do you think is going to happen if you have an agitated man with a long gun walking down the streets thinking that he's some sort of peacekeeper? And that kind of behavior shouldn't be enabled either. We're here to preserve public safety and the, the ability of individuals to exercise uh, their First Amendment rights to lawfully and peacefully demonstrate. That's really the bottom line for the National Guard. Uh, the, we are not federalized. Uh, we're on state active duty. Uh, the soldiers and airmen coming in from other states will be under my command as the Adjutant General uh, and ultimately under the direction of our Commander-in-Chief, Governor Evers. The people on the ground here in Kenosha asked us for X. We provided X. Within the next day, they asked for Y, and we provided Y. We have fulfilled every every um, uh, request that the, uh, the the leadership in Kenosha have asked for. So I feel confident that we met our obligations. Do I wish that the uh, that the uh, it hadn't turned out the way it did? Uh, of course. Who 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 wants to see this this type of uh, uh, drama and uh, uh, destruction that has happened in, in Kenosha. It's not acceptable.